exoplanets rich in oxygen may be geologically active. Humble oxygen is more than just a component of life. A new study suggests that the element could also help scientists peer inside the interiors of planets orbiting distant stars. Experiments in the laboratory show that rocks exposed to higher concentrations of oxygen melt at lower temperatures than rocks exposed to lower concentrations. Researchers report in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences on November 9 that the discovery suggests that oxygen-rich rocky exoplanets may have a thick layer of soupy mantle. Magma is molten rock deep within a planet that powers geologic activity on the surface, such as what occurs on Earth. Volatiles such as water vapor and carbon dioxide can fizzle out of magmatic ooze during volcanic eruptions, creating potentially life-friendly atmospheres. However, the factors that drive mantle melting on Earth are poorly understood, with scientists focusing on the role of metals such as iron. A planetary scientist at Beijing's Center for High Pressure Science and Technology Advanced Research. According to him, oxygen is one of the most abundant elements on Earth and most likely on rocky exoplanets as well. As a result, other scientists may have previously assumed that it is simply too common an element to play such a literally earth-shattering role, according to Lin. Lin and colleagues measured the melting temperatures of synthetic, iron-free basalt rock under rock in two environments, oxygen-depleted conditions and oxygen-rich air. The team used the simulated rock to isolate the effect of oxygen on melting and rule out the effects of iron, which can also influence melting. The oxygenated basalt minerals remained melted longer than the oxygen-depleted samples as the molten rocks cooled to less than 1,000 degrees Celsius. The oxygenated rocks solidified at temperatures that were 100 degrees Celsius lower than their counterparts. The researchers conclude that, similarly to how salt lowers the melting temperature of ice, oxygen makes it easier for rocks to melt. Lin hypothesizes that oxygen can break up long chains of silicon and oxygen atoms in solid rock, causing them to coalesce into smaller bits. When compared to the longer, tangly groups, these fragments are more mobile and can flow more easily. The degree of oxidation may influence how a young exoplanet's syrupy interiors settle into subterranean layers. According to the researchers, a more oxidized and melt-prone gut at lower temperatures may result in a smaller solid core, a thicker sludgy mantle, and a more metal-deprived crusty shell. The researchers tested the impact of only oxygen on the melting temperature of rocks, which is a limitation of the study. Other factors, such as iron concentration and high pressure, are likely to be present in the interiors of many real-world exoplanets. Lin predicts that these additional factors will accelerate melting. According to planetary scientist Tim Lichtenberg of the University of Oxford, who was not involved in the study, the findings are a very good effort. Other factors influencing mantle melting may outweigh oxygen's contribution, but the new findings are still useful, he says. Understanding the potential impact of oxygen, for example, could be useful in explaining the inner workings and history of any exoplanet discovered through astronomical observations. That understanding may become even more valuable and timely as scientists prepare to use the recently launched James Webb Space Telescope to probe the atmospheres of other worlds. Of course, lab experiments cannot capture all of the nuances of real-life planetary interiors. However, the work is required to guide and confirm the formulation of theories about how certain types of exoplanets came to be, according to Lichtenberg. When combined with other techniques, such as modeling, simulations can then extend the reach of experimental results. These three prongs feed off each other to advance exoplanet science as a whole, long before humans set foot on such distant worlds. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, my dear. I hope you enjoy it and learn something from it. Please subscribe by clicking the button below. I will see you in my next video.